Now, this is a story I thought I would never have to do with regards to the Ryder Cup. Now, if you didn't know, all the players that play at the Ryder Cup do not get paid to play. And, right, they've earned their right to represent their country or their continent, okay? Taking on as Team Europe or Team USA. Now, if you haven't noticed this, and... I find this absolutely bizarre. And with this story, I want you to get involved and let me know what you think on this. Right, because if you haven't noticed, Patrick Cantley hasn't been wearing a hat throughout the entirety of the Ryder Cup. Now, in recent years gone by, the likes of Rory McIlroy hasn't worn a hat just out of personal choice. But the reason why Patrick Cantley isn't wearing one, well... This is in the New York Post. Like, I haven't even had time to sort of even write this down. I wanted to get it up. I wanted to get it out to you because the Ryder Cup news is happening thick and fast. And what do we think of it so far? Dominating sort of day and a half from Team Europe. But we sort of are seeing a potential little bit of change. And with that being said, as soon as we get the news on who's playing who for the pairings tomorrow, I will release a video so you can find out what we think the score is going to be and exactly who is going up against who. Now, we've sort of seen Team USA not look like themselves. Like the likes of Scotty Scheffler getting turned over this morning, crying on the edge of a buggy. The atmosphere in the camp doesn't seem right. So is there a little bit of a virus? And I don't mean um, like an actual illness. I mean fractious atmosphere between players. So this is a tweet. And this also has come from the New York Posts. Listen to what I'm about to say here. This is crucial. Understand from several sources that the US team room is fractured. A split led predominantly by Patrick Cantley. Now, remember, he is one of the players that is not wearing a hat at all. And also, guys, don't forget, Team Europe bag is still up. Now, I know I appreciate some of you Team USA guys, but okay, let's carry on with the story. So, look at this, right? Cantley believes players should be paid to participate in the Ryder Cup and is demonstrating his frustration at not being paid by refusing to wear the team cap. Now, you might think, well, just because he refuses to play doesn't affect performance. But you're creating that uneasy atmosphere with all your teammates. And I'm not being funny, right, Patrick? If this is true, you should hang your head in shame. Because you know this at the start of two years ago when you're going in to try and be a member of that Ryder Cup team that you're not getting paid. But this is about creating a legacy. If you really wanted to get paid, you should have gone off to live golf. Now, I'm getting annoyed at this because simply we're looking at the top creme de la creme players. Like money is no object to these. This is being part of golfing history. This is being part of one of the biggest golfing events. You shouldn't have to be paid to either represent your country or or represent your continent, in my opinion. Now, as I said, with this story, let me know exactly what you think on it. I always love your opinions. So it goes on further here. It says this. He wore a cap at last year's President's Cup, for which players are paid. Cantley also refused to attend the gala dinner earlier this week, and along with close friend Xander Schofle, is sitting in a separate area of the team room and dressing room. This is, honestly, I thought, I mean, I thought golf had a little bit of something. It seems very opposite in Team Europe, I'm going to say that. And obviously, I think some of the guys, for example, Jordan Spieth uh, and the likes of Justin Thomas are very friendly, but they were going into the event. It's definitely the old thing of bringing some individuals together. Now, furthermore on this story, before the Ryder Cup, it was widely reported that the same pair were the ones refusing to allow Netflix cameras access to the team room. So this, or if this story is true, which, you know what, from what I've heard about this, I think it can be. And obviously, these are all rumors that we've seen and read in the New York Post and I've been seeing going all over Twitter. In fact, one of my lessons just this morning mentioned it to me. But if this is true, they need to take a long, hard look at themselves, in my opinion. This is one of the biggest sporting events and this should not go on. Like, come on. You know going into this, you're not getting paid. So why has that changed now? You're creating a very fractious atmosphere and that is coming out 
on the pitch or on the golf course. Now, I know you might look at this and go, well, Alex, you're a European fan. You should be happy with this. Well, yeah, I get it. But we want to have the best sporting spectacle, right? And we want Team USA at their best versus Team Europe at their best. And I think there is more to this story. So as soon as we learn more on this story, I will let you know. And as soon as we have the order for tomorrow, I will also share this with you. Thanks so much for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. This is your breaking news story. And I, I'm disgusted in this one.